the anticipated trajectory of my life was shattered into unrecognizable shards by the dirge bolt lightning storms coursing across my crown chakra in the attic of the Tibetan monastery. When I was a mere 21 years old, raised in general motor manufacturing town amidst the cornfields of Michigan, I am in grave danger. Because if my good-for-nothing ego thieved even a mere speck, a spark of this divine force, it would instantly blow me up into a megalomaniac like blimp, you know, dirigible of megalomania, leaking gas and I would <laughs> explode uh, endangering the surrounding poor folks below me and the lower realms below me poor creatures what to do God Sirthi what to do we're on the jet Headed for Europe, what to do? Um, Goddess Earthy again leads the way. She guides us to take extreme refuge from the world. A sanctuary for beleaguered bodhisattvas where we can regroup in the Ganesh cave and wait for further instructions. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. From guardian angels. Instructions from guardian angels. Goddess Earthy and her kind-hearted angelic friends. Mm -hmm. You know. This urge to fundamentally withdraw from mankind was the cause of my excruciating homesickness, even while I was still living with the Tibetans, remember? Um, yeah, I mean, after all, I was seeking a snow cave to live in for 10 years, so. seeking extreme solitude, So, well, right on schedule, uh, Goddess Earthy and I are ascending the faint goat path, zigzagging up the cliff face to our Ganesh cave on the luscious Greek island of Rhodes. Hmm. Well, with no alarm or harm to anybody, uh, we do take delivery of more planetary healing downloads in the womb of the Ganesh cave. Earthy is so happy to get back to the cave. <laughs> she reigns with joy. She's like rain. <laughs> yeah. Well, the message from the cave angels in Earth language is this. Earthy, Earthman, you passed an awesome initiation in Detroit where you, <laughs> you slew the Vietnam war dragon with a toothpick? Yeah, uh, you are now fully unstoppable <laughs> Unio Mystica creatures on four legs. And therefore, mm -hmm. 
we are assigning you a grand plan specifically oh. you are tasked to be the visionaries that teach mankind about earth people And at, uh, these highest inner angels conclude, at this exalted, absolute level of sanctity, sacrament, this assigned mission, it's not optional. Mm -mm. If you do not carry out this assignment, we're talking digging deep, giving it all you've got. If you don't carry it out, that's okay. We will cause you to self-destruct. Either you will kill yourself or go Dark, raving, mad. Hi. Um, if you, you know, breach uh, the assignment, uh, unescapable punishment. Mm -hmm. We need a freshened spiritual alignment between Earth people and inner heaven we need a higher kind of human love on the planet hey hey ho 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 Earthy and I are honored and humbled to the core to be chosen for this divine ex assignment. Oh my God and Goddess. Talk about giving one's life a profound, deep significance. All right. In the Ganesh cave, the goddess and I contemplate our destined assignment. <laughs> to be the visionaries who teach mankind about earth people. To live enlightened without going insane. The middle path. Um, yeah, and we delight. Earthy and I, yeah, remember? Yeah, huh? We're having a good time. How are we going to pull off this, like, global production number? You know? Beyond Broadway, folks. Um, well, obviously, we need to play to our strengths. Mm -hmm. Strengths? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're adept at karma yoga. What's that? Karma yoga? Hmm. It's where a human being takes symbolic action to dramatize a universal truth. Particular action, dramatize universal truth. It accelerates evolution. You know, like how I accelerated getting out of prison in Detroit. I wouldn't sign my name. That's karma yoga. Well, the grand master of karma yoga in all of human history is Mahatma Gandhi. Here's an example. He walked for endless days, villages, dusty villages, wouldn't tell anybody what he was doing, where he was going, uh, you know, 
More people kept following out of every little village. He walked for endless days until he finally came to the Arabian Sea. And in the Arabian Sea, he just, without any words or breaking any laws, <laughs> he sipped Arabian Sea salt water in the palm of his hand, which was a signal to his countrymen to boycott British colonial salt. This was a big deal, and it accelerated India becoming independent from England. Karma Yoga, like this little skinny Mahatma, off the charts, Karma Yoga, a good guide for me. Well, um, raw courage, another strength Earthy and I seem to have been born with. We audaciously good vibed away the Vietnam War Dragon in Detroit. We're at ease to be incomparable. We don't need to reference ourselves to anybody else or you know, just be original, do our thing. Uh, and the extreme Ganesh Cave isolation. Uh, protects us from energy blending and socializing with other humans. <laughs> we do this for months. <laughs> it's a cave. Right? Uh, most people think I live alone. Little do they know. Huh? Um, yeah, uh, that way we don't water down our mutated interdimensional natures. Hmm. We calmly abide in our secret Ganesh cave. And we fully appreciate that in the Western world we are viewed as delusional psychotics, obviously disassociated, rent and torn out of the fabric of consensual reality and uh, manufactured consent. Mm. Yeah, we're viewed as poisonous. Annoying, for sure. Hopeless. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, like in rural India, the villagers honor our spirituality and uh, original spiritual uh, reflections by bringing us fruit and flowers at sunset outside their village. Bring some kids along. Let's have some fun. And, uh, well, look, Earthy and I are, are accustomed to both extremes, you know, Eastern, Western, you know, whatever. Extremes. We're unattached. We transcend both perspectives. <sighs> wow. Hmm. Thanks for the rain, Earthy. Hmm. Hmm. I just take, take all my clothes off and stand in a warm tropical rain. Who needs a bathroom and a shower? When's the last time you bathed in tears from the goddess from the sky? Mm. 